Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make this beautiful piece of ephemera. This little piece of ephemera has everything. It has a permanent tie closure. It has lace. It has two tags. It has two signatures. It has a fold out. It's an accordion style. It is just awesome. You could send it out in happy mail. You could put it in your satchel. You could put it as an add-on to a junk journal. You could simply pop it into a pocket or a belly band. It might be a little thick for that, but I think it's absolutely wonderful. It's fun to make too, guys. But first, before I show you how I made this, let's have a shout out to Colleen, Nina, Susan, Debbie, and Zumpy. I appreciate each and every one of you. So the lace, the bling, the music paper, a cloth tie or fabric tie, a fussy cut and a label. Let's look inside. So you, I'm just going to flip. You can flip it like this or you could open it all the way up like this and you have your beautiful front page. I've got a little piece of sewing trim. I've got some fabric to secure the sewing in the uh, signature. I've got the coffee dyed line paper. There's our first tag and pocket right here. And here's our second tag and pocket right here. We've got another little signature right here and our back page. I think it's absolutely adorable and it folds up just like this. You push it together, it folds right up, and then you can tie it and pop it wherever you would like. Oh, this would be even a wonderful little Mother's Day present, right? Just something sweet. Let me show you how I made it. It's made out of cardstock, you guys. Now this cardstock, my pad, has seen better days. It doesn't have a cover on it anymore. But the back does still say thecraftblog.com, perfect moments. Some of these cardstock pieces have um, are double-sided and some are single-sided. I pulled out a few of the double-sided ones. And the size that these are right here comes with that hole that we're going to have to, you know, trim the paper a little but it comes six by six and a half. So I have already trimmed two of these. So let's go ahead and let's just trim these others. Just like this. So I'm going to use them as templates. You are going to need four to do this project. So I'm just going to trim or mark so I can trim these. And let me grab my little guillotine here and let's chop her. Give it a nice chop. And then let's give this a nice chop. Now we're cutting off. How much are we cutting off? Oh, I cut more than I should have on that one. Yikes, that might have to be the tag. So now they are five and a half by six, approximately. You know me and measuring. I think I'm measuring right and I'm measuring wrong. So when I say this one because it's shorter, oh it's not that much shorter. Is this one that much shorter? No. See, I thought I cut it wrong and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so we're going to have to decide what's going to be our front cover. And the one that's going to be right here is going to be your front cover. So do I want I really, really, really like this paper right here. Let's see about maybe making this and then uh, I kind of like the stripes and I don't know why I kind of like the stripes with it. Now this is going to be our tags, the two tags that we're going we're gonna to need. I'm going to, because this is not, you know, a square, I'm going to make sure I'm going to fold this the correct way because we're going to need to fold it in half. So 
So I'm going to fold it in half. Oh, I did a very good job. Let's see if I can do a better job. There we go. And I'm going to give it a little crease. Alrighty, so is this one going to be our middle? These are going to be the pockets. This one has a mark on the paper. That's going to bother me. It might, so I'm going to turn it over because that's going to bother me. So these are all folded this way, this way, and this way. Okay, so this is going to be the pocket, so we're going to need to take a thumb notch out of these. So I'm going to fold this in half like this, and I'm going to mark the halfway mark here. Then I'm going to bring in my one and a half inch hole punch, and I'm going to punch this out, both of them. Okay, so we've got that done. The next thing that I want to do is I am going to ink my up. I like inking. I like the way it, it looks. If you don't ink, that's okay. It is a personal preference whether you ink or not. I just I just like it. And so I'm going to ink my papers here. That's my pocket. This is my front cover. I'm hoping that's my front cover. Oh, it's going to need to go this way to be my front cover. Let me think about this. This folds up like this, this, and this. Yeah. Okay, so what you want for your front cover needs to be basically upside down. I kind of like the way that looks. How about if we turn it this way? No, let's have the, the, uh, the hearts. Okay, I am going to ink this up right here because that's going to show behind my thumb notches. And of the rest I can ink up in a, just a minute because I really have to think about how this goes together, you guys. So it's going to go on just like this. What's the best way for me to get this done? That's a good question. I want it to be like this when it's all said and done. So the best thing for me to do is to glue this down just like this. I'm going to open it up like this and I'm going to add my glue. I don't, yeah well, like I said, I get confused. <laughs> it's closed up. I'm going to open it. I'm going to take a paper clip. I think that would be the best thing for me to do. And paper clip this together. Now, this is a pocket. I'm going to glue here, here, and here. And that's going to be a pocket. So let's do that. I'm going to put my glue right here. Right here down this side and then I'm going to close it that's going to be my little pocket make sure this closes well everything's good now let's remove our little paper clip and this is my next pocket so I'm going to glue right here the bottom and the side and then I'm going to close it and that is the second pocket and that's our cover so when we open it up it looks like that yeah <laughs> okay alrighty we've got that all taken care of the next thing I'd like to do is I have some fabric here and it's just a cotton and it's about it's a little bit over an inch and I want to glue it into 
this area right here where we're going to be sewing our signature. I'm going to use a little bit of my fabric tack. I'm going to try not to put too much right in the crease because I don't, you know, I want to be able to sew this in this video and I'm afraid if I put it in the crease I'm not going to have a very nice time sewing in my signature and I would definitely like to complete this project in this video. So I added glue on either side of the crease and I'm just going to lay this right on top and glue it down. And then grabbing my little scissors here, I'm going to trim this off just like this. Actually not not real close. I'm not going to bother it. I'm going to give it a little time to set up. I'm going to do the exact same thing here and I, I am using the fabric tack and I'm going to put it on this side of the fold, double line, <clears throat> and then on this side of the fold, a double line, like that. Alrighty, set that back over there. There we go. Bringing in my fabric, I'm just going to lay it right on there just like that. So what this is doing, it's strengthening the spine where we're going to be sewing our signature. All right, so we look just like this. Super cute. Let's, um, let's talk about our tag. Uh, it, we probably can't stick it in quite yet because it's, it is, uh, I don't know if it's set up yet, but let's fold this in half. It's going to fit in here, but you know, that the glue spreads and usually we have to make it smaller than the pocket itself so I'm just going to do that I'm going to make it smaller right now and I know it's going to have to be shorter uh, let's see here is that going to fit you can't even see what I'm doing can you is that going to fit in here or do I need to make it smaller whoa I think that <laughs> This is going to be a skinny tag. This is going to be a skinny tag. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. That's going to be fine. Get that in there like that. And I'd like my tags to be about the same width. I think that would be a good idea. So I'm going to use one as a template for the other. And then let's see if it fits in here. It does. All right, so we've got our tags ready. The next thing I'd like to do is I would like to address the front. So right here, oh, right here. Also, we can put another little piece or we could put maybe a little bit of lace if you'd like. Does this one have anything like that? Actually, this one does not. This is going to go up this way. We don't need anything like that. Never mind. <laughs> right here, we're going to put a little ruffle. Now, I've got this little ruffle right here that I think is really sweet. Usually, I cut this, what I call a little spine off. But this time, I think I'm going to leave it. I left it in my example, and it worked out perfectly. I'm going to glue this right like this, and I'm going to glue it, I think I'm gluing it on the inside, just like that. So I'm going to turn it this way because I'm going to use my hot glue. It's quick, it's easy, it's really great for videos. And I'm going to simply glue it right down just like that. So adding my glue all the way down the front of my little piece of ephemera here. And then just gluing this right down like that and I'm going to give it a trim I'm not trimming it perfect yet I'm going to turn it around I'm going to do the other inside of the back in the same exact way I'm going to add my glue just one long B 
bead of glue and laying my lace right on top of my glue, pressing it down, getting it stuck, just like that. Now let's see if we can fold all this yet. Oh, isn't that cute already? Oh goodness gracious, that's adorable. Let's see about trimming this. I'm just going to trim it just like that. Well, I trimmed it in my paper just a little bit, but that's okay. And let's trim that. Well, we're chewing it. Oh, we're chewing it. There. Okay, well, let's do this one. Perfect. Let's do this one. Great. Okay. Now, let's get rid of all these little pieces. This is absolutely adorable. Here we go already. All right, so let's pop. Let's see, what shall we do next? Let's pop a little something on the front. I have got a piece of music paper here, and I really think that I would like to add a little bit of music paper. Maybe this much. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to give it a little something, something. So it's not just uh, plain, although that's not really all that plain. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to grab a paper clip, and I'm going to clip this closed while I work on it. I'm going to get my sponge that has my frayed burlap on it, and I'm going to Pick this up, and then I'd like to glue this down. Now, I've got a little dish right here, and I have got a but a butterfly. What? It's not a butterfly. It's a fussy kind of a rose. What did I say butterfly for? I have no idea. Okay, I want that to be right down there, and I've got these beautiful labels from J. Lee Lou. And I think one of these labels would be really nice. I'm not sure which one I like with this. Let me move this up maybe. Maybe like this. Oh, I like that one. I like that one a lot. So what I'd like to do is glue my label onto my rose first. And I want it about right there. And then I'm going to glue my music paper down on my cover, like that, and then I'm going to add my rose with my label right down here, and maybe just a little bit of Bling. And I'm going to switch, that was our glitter glue, I'm going to switch to my hot glue because it really needs to grab a hold of this flat, these flat back pearls to hold them in their place. How cute is that? Super cute. Now, let's go to the inside and I have some more of those little appliques or I think they're appliques. I know they're, they're sewing trim. I'm going to cut myself two of them. I'm going to put one. Well, first I don't think we've trimmed this completely, have we? I don't think so. Let me grab my scissors that are fabric scissors and trim that so it's straight. Yeah, that would be nice if it's straight. Good idea. Okay, it's straightened out now. And then we open this up. I'm going to pop this one down here at the bottom just for a little decoration. We're not a lot here, just a little. Now, if you wanted, you could put a pocket. I don't think it would be too bulky. You could give it a try. I'm going to pop the other one at the top. On the back right here 
How cute is that? Super cute. All right, label time, uh, label. I don't know, my words are going wacky today. Just really wacky. Oh, we're gonna need that in just a minute. All right, put this over there. Now, our, our tags, our tags. We need to pop them in and see where do we need to cut them at. So there's that one. And there's this one. Oh, I think these colors are cute together. I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to straighten this one up. This one's crooked. Oh well. I'm going to mark it right here and right here, just on the sides of the circle punch. Pull it back out. And then I'm going to bring in my little gelatine. Chop it there. Chop it right where we marked it. I'm going to bring in my corner rounder. I'm going to round the bottom of the tags. All right. And then you know that I'm going to want to ink this up just a little bit. Sometimes I can kind of do it at once. <laughs> like that. Alrighty, I just gave it a little flavor. Let's put in our tab. Now, I have some of that coffee dyed index card that we used yesterday, and I am going to punch out two for each tag. Yes, I know, maybe I could punch it out together, but I'm going <laughs> maybe I'm going to, I want to go in. What is going on? Okay, there we are. So, one, two, three. I want it to be line. Go in. There we go. Must be warped a little bit. Well, I know it's warped a little because I coffee dyed it, but. Goodness gracious, that was arguing with me. So I'm going to ink this up, and I'm going to use two for one. It just makes it sturdier, and I found that if I fold that up and glue it, then I don't really glue it where I punch it, and then it's not glued together real well, so I really do like to do it this way better. I know that some of you are saying, well, yeah, well, you're making an awful lot of work for yourself, but I kind of like to do it this way. So I'm going to get these two together like this, and I'm going to pop it. Now this is, we didn't corner round these, so I'm going to pop it right up here where we did not corner round it. Just adding my glue onto my little tab here, and I don't think I showed my tab punch. It looks just like that. I bought it at one of the <clears throat> craft shops a long time ago. I'm pretty sure they still sell them. Did I do a stripe? Yep, I did. I'm pretty sure they still sell them. And you probably can also find them on Amazon as well. So adding my glue to my label and then just putting it right here onto my tag. And you can decorate your tag up a little more if you'd like. I just did not do that for this video. Now I'm going to let that dry for just a second while I bring in my coffee dyed lined page here, loose leaf page. And I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to fold this in half the long way, like this, and give it a nice crease. And then I'm going to fold it in half again the long way, and give it a crease. And I need two pages for my little piece of ephemera. 
two pages. So it's going to give you four pages for each signature, eight pages total. So that's pretty nice for that little tiny piece of ephemera. I'm grabbing my guillotine one more time, and I am going to, I think maybe these are dried enough that we can pop them in. They get really moist at the top where I glue them. So that's why I was kind of hesitating putting them in. So I see they're not all the way in yet. I hate to push because I know it would buckle and then it'd be bent. And I really don't want it to be bent. Hmm. I don't know if this would help at all. <laughs> not really. I know it's not too tight. It's just that it's wet. Well, no one. Good heavens, what is going on here? Well, okay, we're walking in. I probably should cut a little bit more off then if it's that much trouble, because I don't like it dealing with that much trouble. Getting them in and out. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? All right, so we're working with our signatures here. So let's go ahead and just trim off. Okay, so we folded it. We've got our page. We fold it in half. Then we folded it in half. Now I'm going to trim it. And as I look at it here, I need to trim it on the inside of this red line. So right there. Now let's look and see. That's going to be perfect. So now I need to cut the bottom, which is folded. So now I've got two pieces. I'm going to put one piece inside the other, and then that will fit right there perfectly in there. I'm going to round the corners. That's going to be one signature. This is the second signature. I'll turn it this way. Okay. Turn that off. Now that's going to go. Nope, that needs to be cut a little more. I didn't do a very good job on that one. It's okay. Let me cut it a little more. I really want it inside that tag, and it's not quite inside that cardstock. It's still on the lace, and I want it inside. There, that's much better. I'm going to round the corners like that. Now, the next thing that I want to do is we're going to sew in these signatures. So you want to place however you want your papers to be, like that. And then you're going to place them right in here at the fold where we added our fabric. And I'm just looking to see that there's about the same amount of space between the top and the bottom. And I don't want the pages really to be over the notch that we made for the pocket and I'm going to add my little reach over there because this one's hooked together and I'm adding my whoops I just built another signature adding that like that now if you've been with me very long you know I like to make these little pieces and that tells me where I'm going to put my holes evenly spaced for my signature so what I do is I take a strip about an inch wide and I make it the length of the journal itself, or the piece of ephemera. This one's a little longer than my other one. This is what I used for my example. You fold it in half the long way like that. Then you fold it one more time in half the long way. And then once again. And then you crease it really well. When you open it back up, you take your pencil and you mark where the lines intersect. Okay? So you mark it with your pencil. Then you take your little cheat sheet, <laughs> your cheat marker, and you place it in 
the spine right here. You get your little awl. You, I just use a little piece of uh, foam. It just helps me. And you'll want to do the same thing as you do for a large journal. You hold your awl straight up and down. You poke, poke your hole all the way through and for all three like that. Then you remove your little sheet. Save it because we're going to need it for the second signature. Now you're going to take your thread and your needle. I have book binding thread. It has a little bit of wax to it. If you use embroidery thread, you want to make sure you leave that signature open for a little while. And put a little dab of glue there because it will work. The knot will work its way out. I measure three times. That will give you plenty. And then I thread my needle. And then we're going to go in to the middle. You're going to grab a hold of that tail. Don't let it go all the way through. You're going to go in the next one, all the way across to the next one, back through the center, back through the center. you got to go on the other side of that center thread. See, I've got two, one on either side of this center thread. I'm going to trim this off right here and then secure my needle. Pull it tight, but not so tight you rip it. Check to make sure that's not caught on one of those paper clips or something. And then give yourself a knot. Like I said, leave it open if you're using embroidery thread. A little bit of glue, let it dry, and you can close it up. Now there's our first little signature right in our little piece of ephemera. How cute is that? Now, I'm going to do the other one, and then we're going to put on our closure. All right, you guys, so I've got the second signature sewed in. Now, you could definitely decorate the front of your pockets, which I did in my example, but we will not do that this time, and I'm going to show you how to do the closure. So I'm going to grab a paper clip here, and I'm going to hold it like that. There we are. Now you're going to need a strip of fabric or lace or ribbon and I'm going to find the center. It's right here. I'm going to turn this on the, its back and I'm going to glue this on just like this. Screw it on and then I'm going to take, now this is the right side here, the top here, the bottom here. I'm going to glue on my beautiful fussy cut to just finish the back off and it will just make it really nice to hold that ribbon in place or fabric, mine's fabric. Pull it around the front and then you're simply going to want to give it a little tie. Just as simple as that. Well, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> oh, we can do a little better job than that. There we go. That's a cute little bow. So these are really fun to make. They would make great little gifts, great little pieces of Happy Mail. They've got everything in a kitchen sink in it. You've got a signature, you've got a tag, you've got two tags, you've got two pockets, it's an accordion fold-out, it's just everything. And it's so cute, and it's made out of that cardstock that you all have in your paper pads. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.